yes today is another day thank you very much for joining and for watching and i'll be so glad if you can subscribe and you can be a member of my family and so that we can always encourage and give us another hope that tomorrow is a better day and also to to keep saying that god will always do the miracle and that is what i wanted to do please welcome to my channel my name is christine i'm saved i love jesus my personal savior i loved when they accept me when i was lost i loved him when he was you knew that i am only child who he loves that is how i say it, myself on myself he loves you it really depends on how you take it for me i know he loves me the who i am and because i'm only child who is my name and who is with who is only me we, nobody else is me that's why i say i'm the only child god loves us me that is what, because there's no other christian my name there are many christian but according to god it's only me who is me that is why i say so welcome be feel free please welcome subscribe like comment let be family and other thing i would say i will not be let down by only those people who are commenting and they are not even they don't even check i don't know why they are spamming on my my my, my youtube my my channel or my videos i don't know why they're doing that but i know one day god will do something about it i don't have anything to I don't have to afraid or to be sad or nothing even if only one would watch this i'll be so glad and i was so happy about it and if it changes you i'll be glad that the job you one way or another but remember let's say let me tell you the word of god is is a life is something you need every day of life if you don't understand you need the word of god to survive you need the word of god to live a good life you need Yes, don't tell me that people who don't know God and they're still living their good life. Who told you they live a good life? They live a miserable life, what you don't know. Yes, they may have the riches in the world, they may be wealthiest people on earth, but they don't have that art. That, you know, peaceful art is all we need in the world. It's not about richness or wealth or millionaires or anything. We just need peaceful art. And because if you see those people who are rich or millionaires, they are struggling each and every day. And let me tell you something. There's something you have to know that neither richness nor poor nor anything can buy. You can buy life. You can buy life. Even the rich cannot cure the diseases. They cannot even get the medicine for what they are they are with they are suffering because they believe in themselves. They don't know there's God and that's why they still suffer. At the end of the day they will leave that richness on that that where they they leave it behind. They will not go with it in heaven. So you don't have to be afraid or ask questions why am I like that or like that? Who can you be like? Be yourself. Be who you are. Don't want to be somebody else. Because the Bible says in Ten Commandment it says in tenth commandment it says don't wish don't go don't uh, i just have to check it where it says ten commandment i think uh, as somebody i said about i thought about ten commandment but it says don't convert don't don't uh, desire somebody's worthy or wife that is how it says you don't say somebody's things properties or anything they have because that is a sin we don't have to say i want to be like somebody i want to have like what somebody have it's not impossible yes you can be yourself and you can have what you want by yourself not want somebody because somebody has it's impossible it cannot happen either you don't know how they get that wealthy you don't know some they don't even struggle to get the wealthy it's just free given or they, they sacrifice their, their their loved ones so they can get the riches they want. And the end of the day, their life is miserable. They don't end up well. You just check and see. Nobody who gets easy wealthy is a happy life. They have to sacrifice something. They have to give up their, their loved ones. They have to do something very yeah, that wrap up, that wrapping thing, that special someone, you have to sacrifice them so that you can get the riches you want. That is not what I want for myself. I want to live a happy life and a peaceful life and no, 
I'm not desiring anything, anybody's things. I'm not. I am me. I am myself, and I pray God is going to bless me according to myself. He is not going to just check and think this one is one thing something which is not uh, which is not available no ask for something which is available and god will always keep you god has no remit on blessing you god has no remit of giving you what you want but it happens that what you want is not what you can get because that you want is too much asking there's something which is too much there's something which you have cannot give sometimes you have to work to get that money sometimes you have to work to build that mansion sometimes you have to work to have what you want a good life sometimes you cannot just sit there and wait expect something will happen to you even now if you want a miracle you just have to pray to god to give you that miracle otherwise you cannot sit there and wait for somebody to pray for you so you can get that miracle kneel down pray please pray pray Ask God whatever you need. He have not. He has not. He has time for you every hour, every second. He has never, ever said, "I don't have time this moment." He is there to answer you. He has many servants. God has many who take him your prayer request. You just have to give your prayer request to God, and He will give you. Jesus is there to help you. He help you to get it done because as you believe in Jesus. He will make it happen for you. He will make that life for you you want to sell and to have. If that life you are worrying too much about, just give it your life to Jesus. That is the only thing I can tell you. Give your life to Jesus and give it all of you. All of you with everything you have. That's why it says, the Bible says, love your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your body, with everything you have. Let your body be the the, 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 the temple of God because if you don't keep it holy, it's yes, you try to keep it holy and by avoiding some constant what you know it will make you sin and make you dirty because you have to pray for forgiveness each and every day because every time, every day, we are sinners, we do something which is not right. It don't tell me, even if it's the pastor, even if it's the reverend. They have something they always do sin they do wrong it's nothing they do hundred percent that is what you have to know don't trust anybody just believe in god yes there are people who are they know how to pray and they pray for us every day and we thank god for them because they pray for us and they give themselves because for us but there's somebody who cannot even let a day he cannot pray for you because he doesn't care but there's somebody who is dedicated and is right to serve you to serve you, to pray for you, and give you. Thank you for those few who do that. They are not everybody who can pray for you and dedicate their life for you so that you can get better or you can get healed, you can get that child, you can be blessed. It's not only one who can do that. It's only a few, and may God bless them for what they have done. Yes, there is people who pray for you, and I've seen them, and I have one too, and I know the prayer God is going to answer. Don't ask questions. When it's not happening for you, don't say, Oh, why is it taking long for me not to be answered? Why is it taking long for me not to be heard? Why is it not praying for me and I cannot get answers? Who told you the answers will come? That's not as simple as you think. Because you are not letting go of what you have done in the past. Because you are not bringing your heart and soul to the princess of God. That is why it's draining. Otherwise, it can drain because God wants to show you that whatever He is going to do to your life is a purpose, and you are to you are to testify for. Because if something happened, I just have learned that even happen something happen easy and easy and fast, you will forget that God has done it for you. But when it take time to come, and finally it's your life, you have time to thank God for that miracle. Yes, you have me. There are many strategies on the way. There are many um, up negative uh, answers on the way. But don't stop praying because God is going to do the answer. He's good to do what he, only he can do. Because he says, with me there's nothing impossible. And he's a able God. We have to trust in God in that. And let him be on our guide and everything we do let god guide us and let him know we are here to stay we are here to praise him we are here to testify we are here to tell god what he has done for us 
we wait for that. And then it's one thing you have to say, God, when you pass this, then all the ones, don't pass me by. Yeah, when you pass to bless others, don't pass me by. Bless me too. I need a blessing. Every as long as you live in this world, you live. We need one blessing. You need a blessing. Every time you live in this world, you need something. You need something to be proud of. You need something to praise God for. You need something to ask God, what is it is I can do for you, God, for this miracle you have done for me. It's not so. It's worth it to praise God. And it's worth it to wait. It's worth it to be patient. Be patient as me I am. I am patient. I'm waiting. I know God will come and answer me. God is going to do something. He is going to direct the right answer and the right miracle in the, on my path. And that time when it comes, I'll shout hallelujah. I'll sing glory. I'll sing Osana because he's going to do for you. You don't want to watch this. You don't want to follow me. It's okay. But remember, God is going to bless you according to what you wait for or what you pray for. You, whatever you pray for, there's no limit when you're asking God for something. There's no limit on when you want God to bless you. There's no limit when you're saying, God, I need this answer. I need to prove to somebody that this is God who does miracles. And that is what I'm asking. I'm asking God to do this miracle for me so somebody who doesn't believe in God exists. They can know there is God. They can know God changes lives. God changes situation. God changes everything which is, seems impossible for human beings. And he will do it for us. Just keep patient and let wait. Let's keep waiting. I'm here with you to wait until God that is for us. And he will not delay. He will come at the right time. And I know he's not going to disappoint us. He's going to forsake us. He's not going to abandon us at this time we need him. He's going to come at the right time. And that is what we have to wait for. And that is what we have to hope for. And have faith that God is going to do that. As we do that, the Bible tells us, wait on the Lord. He will come and bless you. Wait on the Lord. Everything you do, wait on the Lord. That is what the Bible says. You know, even if you are down, you don't have any verse to say. Just go to Jeremiah 29 and also Jeremiah 33, verse 3. It says, call on me. I will answer you and I will show you great things you have never seen. Also, it says, I have I have good friend for you to prosper. For good world and not for evil. He has a very good farm for you. If you don't have anything, just go and read. Even Isaiah says, when you lack nothing and you think God is the only way to give you everything you need. He says in Isaiah 55, come to me all you are dusty. I'll give you free food and free drinks without any cost. That is what you have to do. Because this blessing, this, this, blessing, this gift is given for free. You shall also give it for free. Let's pray every day for the God to give us that 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 miracle that retains someone's life. And let me keep praying. Let me keep praying. And I know God is going to answer my prayer. And also is going to answer for you. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come before you this afternoon. I glorify your name, mighty God, for your wonderful name. It's because, Jesus, whenever I call your name, my Father, I be I believe and I have I have in my mind, there is a victorious, there is something which is going to be victory, there is something which is going to be winner, there is something going to be winning on this matter, oh Jesus. I know Father Jehovah God that this is not going to fail, this is not going to disappoint, this is not going to, to be a left without answers, but there is going to be answer because God, somebody cannot know that Jesus you still on your kingdom, you still sit on the throne, and they cannot ever do anything against you. They cannot even deny you. They cannot even say a word because God, you're going to do it. You're going to do this miracle, oh Jehovah God. You're going to do something, oh Jesus. You're going to do it, Father, because you say is in, in Matthew chapter seven, seven, verse seven. God. Ask it shall be given, seek your find, knock at the door shall be opened to you. And also, you said in John that, my father, we have not asked anything, we re you refuse to give us, we just have not asked because you, with when we ask in your name to God, to our God, you are going to give us and so that our joy may be fulfilled. Oh, Jesus, I know my joy is going to. I have full soul. My joy is going to be full soon. My joy is going to be full soon. And I shall testify the wonderful 
things you have done into my life. Thank you, Jehovah God. May you cleanse our soul. May you cleanse our mind. May you forgive us everyone we have spoken, everyone we have said, everything we have done against you. May you forgive us. Cleanse us, Almighty God. And Father, I know, Jehovah God, somebody is waiting. Somebody is looking at you. Somebody is asking for favor. My Father, may you favor them whatever they are. May you protect them whatever they are. May you show them that Jesus, you are still on your kingdom. You may you show them, my father, you are still in the rule. You are still in the rule. You are still on the light track to bless and give us the miracle. Father, I trust in a wonderful name. Whoever breathe, whoever breathe in you, whoever watch this, Father, let them be blessed. Them, them be made to pray. Let them, they have whatever they need. Let them know Jesus is still on your kingdom. You're still on the rule. You're still on the rule, my Father, my Jesus. I know in your name, Jesus. Jesus, your name is the all we need. You know, this, in the name of Jesus is all we need to be. Ah, winner of everything we ever wanted. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for the miracle. I pray for the miracle, oh my Father. I pray for the miracle that will change someone's life. Jehovah God, you know what I need. You know what I'm asking. You know what I need, and I know you're going to do it, my Father, in your own timing. I'm going to be patient to wait on you, Jehovah God, so that I can testify the wonder of this of your name. Thank you, Jesus, for continuing blessing me, for continuing showering me with love, and I continue showing me that my father you do it on the right time in jesus mighty name bless everyone who watch this let them be have what they need let them show them that jesus to trust in you is all they need in the mighty name of jesus father thank you for this wonderful name thank you for this wonderful favor thank you for this wonderful answering my prayer thank you for answering my prayer thank you for delivering me thank you for everything you have done into my life Thank you for every miracle. Thank you for every healing. Thank you for every testimony. In Jesus' mighty name, I receive and I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May we be blessed and let's see each other soon. And remember, those who wait on the Lord, they will mind the shine. They will never lack anything. And remember, all things are possible with God.